All right, we're going to take a quick look at the new media features in WordPress 3.5 and how it makes it even easier to create a gallery. Now, we've been big fans of the gallery for a long time, and I'll show you why in a second. On the new version of WordPress here, it's even easier to create than before. So we'll go to a post and just add a new one. And this will work for any post or any page. Uh, so we'll call it Gallery Test. And we can put some text in here if you want, you know, talk about your gallery, talk about why people are going to see these pictures and click the old Add Media button. This brings a big full screen thing where you can drag and drop some files over or click to select. So I'll, I'll drag over, I don't know here, I got eight or 10, like nine I guess actually. Um, we'll drop them in. There's a ni nice new feature here showing them loading in. And once it finishes, here's where it gets neat. It used to be all the images in your gallery would appear, or all the images you've uploaded to a post or page would automatically appear in the gallery. There were ways to pick and choose, but had to know a little bit of code and it was kind of tricky. Now it's much, much easier. We'll just choose to hide a few of these, undo a few of them, so now these six will be in our gallery. So we'll just go to the bottom and say create new gallery. Always want to link it to the media file. I hate that little attachment page thing. To the media file. And that's it. And now if we want to, because it's only using a few, we can say, and also here a few more. We'll do another gallery. So we'll hit Add Media, look at our media library, and we'll just choose these few instead. Those four. Okay, cool. Create a new gallery. We'll do two columns there since it's four. It'll balance up nicely. Go into the media file, and insert, and that's all there is to it. We'll go ahead and publish this post. Um, I will note I have installed one other plugin that's going to help make this gallery work even better. Uh, the popular Jetpack plugin has a feature called Carousel that makes this work work really neat here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this post. And I'll show you the Carousel piece of it here. I'll look at that real quick while it's loading. Inside of Jetpack, if you install it, there's Carousel on the left. All I did is activate it. Nothing else to it. It's a free plugin, real easy to activate. Um, now what happens here is we have some text and our six images, and then hey, and here's a few more. And again, we've told it to do, to do two columns there. And what happens then, if someone clicks it, you get a nice full screen image, and then this is the carousel feature that's going to take them through it. And that's all there is to it. So it's a great new feature, and thanks to WordPress 3.5, uh, it's a lot easier to just pick and choose which pictures you want to include. We can even take it a step further. We'll go back into our post here. And if we were to edit one of these galleries, you can click and hit the edit button. Um, and now also lets you drag and drop to change the order of them. It used to be very difficult to put them in a specific order. Now you can just drag and drop all day to change the order, put little captions under them. Uh, it's really a very slick feature. So once you have WordPress 3.5 going, uh, I encourage you to try out the new media features and, and play with the new gallery.